It's Haxa here with another uh, episode, I guess, of Skull the Hero Slayer, but we're in dev blog mode again. It's time to go over another dev blog because they released it and it's chock full of information. There's some crazy stuff that they announced in this. I'm very excited. I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited to know what's happening. And now's the time to talk about it. So let's just start reading. Dev blog, first DLC. So they gave it away immediately. This is <laughs> the announcement of the DLC mythology pack, which a lot of people in the comment section of my YouTube video actually uh, figured out very quickly that this was going to be a myth like a mythical heroes pack. So, And also people in my Twitch chat were saying it too. So kudos to you guys. You guys are very clever. Why does the king have that big DLC statue? What? I mean, I'm going to talk about all of this. So hang on, Doss. You're, you're jumping the gun. We're going to... All things with time. However, here's the first image. We'll come back to this. Hello, little skeletons. Today, we are proud to introduce Skull's first ever DLC, the Mythology Pack. So this will be paid DLC. However, for one, the devs deserve it. I don't want to see a single person complain about paying for the DLC. We should have paid for the Dark Mirror. And, you know, it's kind of crazy that we didn't. And this is the first time they're charging us again for content that they've been making for free for two and a half years. So, you know, getting ahead of that. Um... You know, I don't even know if people are complaining about that, but I'm sure someone will not like that, but shut up. Uh, we plan to release this DLC pack in November alongside the Demon King Castle Defense update. So the Demon King Castle Defense update is going to be free and the DLC is going to be, uh, well, we'll get into what the DLC is going to be. Let's go more support for Southpaw. That's how I feel too. They deserve it. They've worked so hard over the last couple of years, literally not even like putting out new content, but just Fixing the base game. Too expensive for you? I'm sure, Sly. <laughs> uh, also, I'm now sure if we want to play the king, we have to play all of the four because the four... We will talk about this, trust me. I've noticed this too, uh, Valfin. Um, more information, including the official release date and price, will be shared once they have been finalized. So actually, I would say you were talking to me earlier, Valfin, about how you think this is the final dev blog. Um... I guess they do have more stuff they have to tell us because they have to I, we'll get like a trailer probably and maybe some more information in that and plus the you know the date and the price so we're at least getting one more thing from the devs uh wait are the skulls supposed to be real life mythology heroes mixed with game Myth i was thinking that too hisoka um so it's hard to say we'll have to I, Based on what these guys are, it seems more based on real life characters. However, uh, the the other guys a bit more of a I, I don't know what to make of this guy here, but these are the skulls. Um, we saw their silhouettes re uh, like a month or so ago, and these are finally seeing what they actually look like. And we can see that like some of the things we were talking about in that last video were incorrect. Um. I skipped ahead too. Whoops. <laughs> I got a little too excited. Um, now here's a sneak peek of our first DLC. As you can tell from the title, the Mythology Pack DLC features fresh content inspired by legendary mythologies. Our approach when designing new skulls has always been to set them apart from the ones that already exist. But this time we decided to try something different and develop a new skull with a specific concept in mind. That concept was mythologies. Metal guys just upgrade little bone. I do not think that's true. Although it could be. I personally hope not, but it could be. Um, the DLC introduces five new skulls that will give players new ways to take on their enemies. So these are them. We already looked at them. Um, they are fucking gorgeous. <laughs> They're gorgeous. The only thing. Okay, so just based on people's guesses, I'm pretty sure Valfin and, and I. You know, I'm not trying to guess up Valfin too good. He's a very good guesser. I'm pretty sure you all along were saying you thought this was Heracles. So you, Valfin, I'm, I believe we're correct about this. Because it appears this is now Her Her Heracles. Zanir, I think, was the first person in my chat. Although I might be getting that mixed up. Someone in my chat immediately knew this was a Guandao. So kudos to them. No one had any good guesses for this. And frankly... It, you know, it was just too tough to guess. Um, Leonidas, I believe people were saying that in my Twitch chat too. It was Burb. Shouts to Burb. 
um people i believe also were saying leonidas and everyone knew this was thor like this was obvious it was given i don't think this is king arthur i do not think this is king arthur but we'll talk more about that later um although i'm i, I guess i don't know if it's king arthur i'm just not convinced that it's king arthur but we'll like i said we'll talk more about that uh the dlc introduces five new skulls that will give players new ways to take on their enemies we have designed these new skulls to require a bit more skill to master compared to the existing lineup. That's probably one of the more interesting lines we have from this. Because that shows that they went out of their way to design these very differently than what we've seen so far. Like, these are conceptually going to be very different. So, you know, maybe it's going to be something that sh that's like a big shakeup for very seasoned veteran players like myself. And these skulls will be very hard to use. I don't got the skill for this you'll figure it out and also we don't know how hard it's going to be sly it, it could still be fairly simple you know they're all also legendary here i don't i don't think that's true bro i don't think that's true i don't even think all of the things we're seeing here are legendary personally i don't think these are all legendary forms i don't think this is a legendary form although it could be i don't think this is i especially don't think this is the legendary form and uh this could very well not be legendary i think these two are legendary but who knows it would be a mistake for southpaw to create uh five legendaries and inject them in all at once I, I think that would be bad i hope they didn't do that if they did that I, i'm sure they have their reasons but it it would just not be healthy for the game for the meta they are skull line just not like le just legendary they said it on the devlog wait where i guess we'll get to that um at the start of a new playthrough, players can select one of the new... And that's another thing, right? Why would they... I, I think this is a one-time thing. Like, I, I, I don't think at the start of every run you get a chance to select one of these. But, like, why would they give us the selection immediately of choosing five legendaries? Who cares for meta? The meta matters a lot, streaming guy. Injecting five legendaries all at the same time into the game is bad because, for one, it completely unbalances the legendary pool, which should not have a lot of skulls in it just like for you know like interest purpose like you still want to find archlich you still want to find grim reaper you still want to find these cool skulls and injecting five at the exact same time natural legendaries would just be a mistake it would it would completely throw out of whack like the amount and also like it would be very uninteresting because you wouldn't see these skulls very often so it's like they add in five new characters and we only get to see them once every like 10 runs like it's just a bad idea it's not a good idea i hope that's not what they did i'm a little concerned but i, I don't think they did it I, I think you guys are jumping the gun a little bit there's they know what they're doing i trust the devs anyways uh the unlocked skulls can be obtained through the uh, bone grave and headless npc in subsequent playthroughs which is just to say that we can find them after we get them like this uh, and also new items which we'll look at all this stuff don't worry i'm i'm kind of reading through the the dev blog first so we can get to discussion but like a shit ton of new items as well uh the upcoming dlc will feature not only new skulls but also 20 items inspired by the mythologies related to these skulls which you can actually kind of make some guesses based on the skulls if you are smart and you can like like connect these items to certain mythologies so if you're like a, a smart person unlike myself uh you can look at these items and kind of figure out who exactly these new skulls are based on what you're seeing i don't see any king arthur related things personally um but that's just me and i'm an idiot so <laughs> uh all these new items will have a unique inscription called mystery which is another one of the coolest things in this dev vlog new inscription dropping very but we don't know anything about it you can maybe try and make some inferences the grawl is it i don't know what that is is the thing um you can make some inferences maybe just by what it's called but like there really is no way to know what mystery is going to be because it's purposefully vague uh, the new items have been designed to complement both the new skulls and the pre-existing ones which you know i mean that which is that's game design <laughs> we are excited to see the amazing combinations player will come up with as soon as the new skull has been added the related items will also become available through the treasure chest and the collector npc which is also just to say you can find them afterwards we hope this dlc provides a new and intriguing gameplay experience as always thank you for playing skull and have a lovely day so there's our dev blog pretty short pretty sweet 
but also simultaneously chock full of so much. So, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of where the jumping off point here is. I guess we can just talk about this image, uh, this one. So, I would imagine this is what we're going to see when we start a run, right? Like, this is how we're going to choose these guys. Like, they said that you, like, start a run and you get a choice between the mythology skulls. Um, and then they permanently join your skull pool. This is probably the room that we start in when we do that. The, uh, legit, the Grawl is the quest of the King Arthur. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right then. It's probably King Arthur then. Well, there you go. That's how you know what's up. That's you. If you're smart, you get a little bit of insight. Um, they're not legendary because they can appear on headless. Uh, ooh, that's a good point, actually, Doss. That actually is an excellent point. That's that's what's up, actually. Like, um, legendary skulls don't appear on the headless pedestal. I'm like, I don't know even know why there's vagueness in my mind. They don't appear. Okay, I'm I'm not even gonna tiptoe around it. They do not appear up there. So yes, Doss is right. 100% um, these are not all net legendaries, which let's be real was obvious to begin with. <laughs> um, surely big club is uh, Heracles probably or Hercules, but the one who found the Grawl is Percival, not Arthur is Percival, a character who would wear a crown either way. Uh, hang on. Let's just talk about this a little bit. So, I think the most interesting aspect here about this room is this back here. You have these all in the foreground and in the background you have the king. So it's kind of weird, right? Like it kind of makes it seem like the king is the centerpiece to it all. Like this is the main addition. This is like the main character of the DLC is how this like makes it seem. And also his pet, his like, tablet is not lit up while all of the other ones are which also implies as i believe valfin or someone said earlier that you can take these guys all before but you cannot take this guy until you take these guys broken sword king i'm going to be very careful about googling things on a browser that i don't use regularly <laughs> i'm not gonna just free google random shit that seems like a huge mistake. <laughs> the king is one punch man? Totally. Good guess, Sly. Um, my hope uh, that Hisoka mentioned this earlier. Like, are they all going to be mythological characters from real life? Or are they also going to incorporate uh, like Harmonia lore into the mythology? And my hope is that um, this guy is more of a Harmonia mythological character and not necessarily a real life mythological character. Um, and they don't exclusively borrow from real life, but it appears the more that we, you know, kind of get through like context and stuff that this is all real life mythology, which one way or the other, I don't care. Like, I'm happy with it regardless. That's just like, I think that the world of Skull is very interesting and I hope they explore it. Like, you know, I, I want to see more of this world and this is all from like our world, which one way or the other, like I said, I don't care. That's just like a thing that I was hoping would happen with the DLC. From Harmonia? Perhaps. I don't know. I mean, we're more than likely fighting the Emperor, so. For sure, no Poison Skull? Yeah, I, I agree. And I was talking about this earlier. If they're not adding a Poison Skull into this patch, like this DLC, I don't think we're ever getting a Poison Skull. Imagine if you needed to defeat the final boss to play as the king. That's possible, actually, Doss. Which would, of course, mean that this is not Arthur, but the Emperor of Carleon. But it'd be kind of, <laughs> it'd be kind of fucked up if Lil Bone killed the Emperor of Carleon and then ripped his skull off and put it on his head. It was like, I'm, I'm the Emperor now. So maybe there are not speed, uh, balance, power, but myth. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. The fuck. Oh my god, Bing sucks, bro. Okay, I'm so glad that I'm only using this for this. <laughs> Did this... Was it this? Oh, that's so stupid. Why, bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, That's an interesting point, Autor. I, I personally think they're still going to follow the archetypes, but they could perhaps create a new archetype. He can probably do a lot of things. Yeah, but he never took his father's head and put it on his body. 
Like, it's not like he's masquerading around with, like, fucking his dad's skull. You know, that's fucked up. They have a poison skull is the uh, Heracles use a Hydra skill. It's, that's, that's your copium, Valve, and it's not actually that bad of a, a thing, you know? Anyways, let's move on to the other image. Let's talk about the skulls themselves. For one, like I said, they're gorgeous. Like, the devs have gotten so good at uh, making these look so, oh my god, it, it, and it, like, it really makes some of the older skulls look super outdated. It's it's kind of unfortunate, honestly, because um, some of the skulls that are older in this game that were made a very long time ago near the beginning need to be visually updated. I guess they don't need to be visually updated, but they certainly look outdated. Whereas you look at these things, it's like, man, look how far the devs of sprite work has come. It's fucking insane. The skulls are mythicals instead of legendaries. That's not a terrible guess either although i personally don't like that idea in the sense that i don't think there needs to be a tier above because like how much would it cost to upgrade 200 bone shards that's insane like that's it that's ridiculous i don't think most runs get even like well i guess i think most of my runs end with about 400 bone shards and i take a lot of skull rooms i, th I take way more skull rooms than most people i think it'd be a bad idea to increase the threshold of like upgrading that much who don't really like the design of the king i don't get why he has a hood but i my running theory is this is not the legendary version of this skull like maybe it's just copium either way i don't care it's a new skull to play with and like it is what it is but i don't think this is like the fully formed version of this character because he has a broken sword like, yeah, he has a broken sword. So why would they give a character who's fully finished and like this is his final form a broken sword? This could be the legendary version, but if it is, he probably has a transformation. Bro, more dangerous? Sure, bro. <laughs> I guess you could lodge some like steel shards into your enemies. Like you hit the enemy and like a piece of your sword breaks off inside of them and it's kind of like a, a pseudo bullet. You know what? True. Juan, you and Thor look insane. Well, let's not count out the 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 you know king just yet, okay? Though I do agree, these are all better looking than this one. But I also don't think this is how he's gonna like. This is the coolest he will ever look. People who know how to use them, Leo looking sick. They, I mean, they all look so incredible. I like the uh, coloring on Leonidas' face. I think it's just a shadow, but it makes him look very dangerous. I, I think my favorite one design-wise is this one. The Guandao. It, like, I, I, he's, like, got red skin, which is very interesting. It, or, I guess, just a red skull, because he doesn't have skin. I don't know. I like him a lot. I like the coloring on him. And also Thor, just with his golden cape and, like, the, the blue armor. It all looks so fucking good. Thor, definitely your favorite. That's the one that was like a given that everyone kind of immediately guessed. Green dude, cool. I mean, they're all sick. They're all sick. I like this guy too. I'm not giving up on him just yet. But um, that's the hair. Oh, it is the hair. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice. Has there ever been a skull with hair? Mage. And now this guy. Is there anyone else? Oh yeah, a genie too. It is hair. It is hair. I, I just was kind of finding it hard to envision a skull with hair but like it seems like a skull with hair is normal I, I think this is probably also his hair i kind of saw it as an extension of the helmet but i think like this this is like his like hair drooping down over his face and you know this is like the hair sticking out the back ghoul may have ghoul does not have hair and same with his line head and on his skull head it is cool and also, it took me a while to notice, but, like, you can see, like, his face poking out from underneath. Because, like, his face is almost the same color as the main, but, like, ever so slightly different. It looks so sick. These foes, uh, skulls got you foaming at the mouth. I agree, man. I'm super fucking excited to just, for one, learn more about them, because they're very mysterious. Before mentioning the actual hairball that is wolf. Well, I mean, sure, that's fair, but he's also not like a... I'm talking like a human hair, you know? But, I mean, fair point. 
Where's the mask? Uh, Heracles in this case? Mm, no. That's like a hood, not a mask. Because, like, that's the, the hood, and this is his face sticking out from underneath. Mr. Signature items that gain a special thing depending on who's using it? I don't think so. Though, though maybe that'd be interesting. They said they designed it to work with the new skulls and the old skulls, which, speaking of the items, let's get to those. Um, I haven't counted all these items, but I'm willing to bet there's an item for every inscription currently. So, like, this could be, like, courage, this could be wisdom, this could be arms, this could be artifact, like, and so on and so forth. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Like, like I said, I haven't counted for every inscription. But, like, I wouldn't... It'd be weird if they left an inscription out here. But either way, uh, if you're smart with, like, mythology, such as Valfin, who get who can recognize that this is from the quest of king arthur then um you can kind of figure out who these characters are if we don't already know who they all are but it appears as though we do um these are all going to be like representative of different mythologies and you can connect those mythologies to the characters mystery okay i already read that um they're all very interesting looking i like them a lot like the mythology uh items are gonna like, they have like a very distinct and unique look to them which is very cool. 35 inscriptions and 20 items. Well, in that case, they can't all be represented. But uh, maybe we can guess which ones are representing which. Like, this one more than likely courage. This one more than likely wisdom. This one more than likely arms. Although, I guess it could be ordered like this. Like, this could be... I'm pretty sure this is courage. But this could also be wisdom. And this could be arms. And this could be artifact. But also, maybe they didn't order it so obviously. Either way, this is arms. This is this is definitely arms. We can guess that. This is arms. New dev blog hype. What's up, Lucas? I I'm super excited about this uh, dev blog. The only thing I will say about this dev blog that I'm disappointed in is it didn't reveal any more information about the new game mode. Like we still know nothing about the Demon King Castle defense. I don't know what the armor does. It's not in Thor's arsenal, as far as I'm concerned. Which armor? This or this? or something else blue and red is ice and burn items don't i mean maybe i think this is probably arson it looks like a fire to me but i don't know i'm, I'm too hesitant to start throwing out confident guesses on most of this uh second row first one oh this yeah um who knows Yo, Hacks, if you don't watch chat to hear your squeaky chair, I have a solution. Although the squeaky chair is cat gem, what's your solution? What, WD-40? <laughs> this has been a, a problem ever since I started, so I would... If you have, like, an actual solution... Don't move, that's a solution. Steel Series sonar? Is this a microphone? Is a requirement for the stream? No, I, I want to get rid of it someday. Anyways, uh, I, I want to keep on topic because we're doing a discussion video. We can talk about this afterwards. Um, oh, I guess we're kind of nearing the end here. Like, you can make some guesses in the comments on what you think think some of this is, and um, I guess like what it could do. I threw out my guesses. I think this is probably courage, and this is probably arms, and <laughs> I don't really have it. This is probably chase. And other than that, I, I don't know. Like, what the hell is this? Like, what the hell is this? It's like a scroll with, like, a baby on it. <laughs> that allows an option that can help remove background noises. I've tried stuff like that, for the record, Zanir, and it made my voice sound weird. A baby? It's scroll baby. The inscriptions are mythology and... I don't know. Spear and shield in case. Wait, also finally... Oh, this? Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. That's finally a shield item. And obviously, we can guess that this is related to uh, to this guy here. That's actually something that I guess we could do is like... What is this? What's all this stuff related to? There's not a bowman here, so what the hell is this? Maybe this guy uses a bow? I doubt it. It doesn't... Look like he does, but maybe he does. 
yeah it's definitely going to be paid content which we talked about at the very start of this video but um good <laughs> artemis's bow you don't know yeah it's hard to say midas's hand i talked about midas's hand in the dms with valfin it's hard to say what it'll do but we can probably guess this is treasure valfin said it was like atlas's gauntlet or something You just gotta keep your voice normal. I don't know for sure. I'll look into it, Zanir. I'll try it. I'm a little hesitant because of stuff I tried in the past, but AI technology has come a long way since I uh, tried it in the past, so maybe we'll see how it sounds. Only one more month? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely insta-buying it, too. One more month is the, is the worst part about this dev vlog, but it'll come and go pretty quick. And also, it could be even up to two months because we don't know when in November it releases. Like, it could be... A month and a half it could be like seemingly two months they could release it on november 31st we don't know got rid of your squeaky chair uh i don't know i mean you're not a content creator so it's a little different for you i said we'll wait to talk about this in here shut up the worst part is always the wait i actually disagree with that Piplip. i think the best part about most things is like anticipation and waiting i think that's like the most underrated thing about um like new content coming out is like the the way and the anticipation is like fun because you get to talk about things you get to like have something to look forward to that like you wake up and you're like well you know even if today sucks eventually we're gonna get that skull drop and it's gonna be the first dlc and there's a new game mode and it's gonna be sick it's only one more month which it's like we were saying this around like this time last month about the first dev blogs and we were like oh god it's so far off but now here we are Fenrir, Guan Yu, Leonidas, Thor, and whoever the king guy is probably Arthur uh also there's definitely differing opinions on um who this is some people are saying Heracles you're saying Fenrir uh who knows I honestly I wouldn't be shocked if this is Fenrir because that borrows from a different mythology, right? Whereas like, this is like a Spartan and this is also Greek. It'd be kind of weird if they borrowed two Greek mythology characters. Fenrir's skull is not probable. Wait, why do you say that? Two Norse? Oh yeah, two Norse. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, fair enough. However, I think we got to wrap this up because I don't want this video to be too long. I think we've rambled enough at this point. I hope you guys are excited about the DLC. I'm excited about the DLC. It's going to be sick. And also, Valfin is right. Fenrir is a wolf. I know that much. So, it's not Fenrir. This is a lion. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, I'm loving these dev blogs. I'm loving the regular communication. Uh, something I didn't mention earlier that I maybe glanced over. Uh, I got I hope I didn't leak my dashboard. I totally leaked my dashboard, didn't I? Did I leak my dashboard? Please say I didn't leak it. <laughs> nope. Okay. Thank God. Um, no, sadly, shut up. They mentioned in the dev vlog that um, this is the first DLC. I don't, I don't think I... Did I harp on the word first? Because that was like something I meant to do is like, this is not the only DLC we're going to get. Which is something I was a little nervous about when I first saw this. Because, like, obviously I had huge anticipation for this being... Oh, I did? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll go over it again here at the very end. I had huge, like, expectations and anticipation for this being, like, a big story injection. Where it's, like, we're getting, like, the Demon King castle defense. And then later on, we're going to get the first DLC. And it's going to be, like, new areas and shit. But, like, obviously this is more of just, like, a... Minor content injection across at least in the grand scheme of things we're getting the um we're getting the big story injection for free and the dlc is essentially just like a goodie bag but it's a really nice goodie bag and also the devs deserve to be paid and i'm sick of them not asking for money so i will literally pay <laughs> pretty much anything for this so shouts to southpaw they're great i love them uh, i'm very excited for what they do in the future and i'm very excited for this so hey, axa happy you're doing well i'm doing okay i mean i'm not better by any stretch but mentally i'm in a better spot than i was so i think more than anything that's important physically i'm not better just 
for the record. <laughs> um, however, let's wrap up this uh, this dev blog reading segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making stuff like this, and you guys really enjoyed the first uh, you know, dev blog reading. So hopefully you guys like this one as well. And that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.